Club. Hello, great kids. Welcome to another fun field class on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at two exercises, exercise 14 and 15. We are going to be looking at exercise 14. It contains two examples. Also, exercise 15, which also contain two examples. Now, in exercise 14 or 15, we will look at the first one, which is exercise 14, and the concept used in the exercise 14. We have the concept of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. All right? Now, let's see the picture. Now, we have a picture of a shape that looks like an M with five numbers. Now, we are going to look at how these numbers are connected. We have the top and the bottom and the center, which is 10. Alright, so let's see how these numbers are connected. The 4 and the 6 on top. We have the 2 and the 5 at the bottom. Alright. Now, let's go to the board. 6 plus 4, that gives us 10. Alright, then when we look at the bottom also, we have 2 times 5. Well, that gives us another 10. So we can see that the top and the bottom are both equal. Alright, now let's say if we wish to get the 4 and we need to make use of other numbers, then we look at the bottom that is complete, that is the 2 and the 5. So we multiply 2 by the 5. And when we do that, we'll get a 10. So on the other side, which is the top, the total is also 10. So we are going to subtract the 6 from the 10. And that gives us the 4. So that is how to get the number in the 4 position. Now, if we wish to get another number, for example, the 6, we do exactly what we did with the 4, making use of other numbers. All right? So exactly what we did to get the 4 is what we do. So we have 2 times 5. That gives us a 10 from the bottom. All right. So we make use of this 10 also. By subtracting the 4 from it, we get a 6. So this is how we get the number in that 6 position. All right. Now let's go to the bottom. If we wish to get the 5 making use of other numbers all right so we simply remember that the product is 10 so it's to do the opposite of multiplication which is what division so we divide the 10 which is the result by the 2 all right so when we have 10 divided by 2 the answer is 5 so with this we can easily get the number in the 5 position all right now if we wish to get the two we are going to repeat exactly the same procedure we used to get the five that is to say the 10 which is the result is divided by the five we are doing this because the result is 10 so we do the opposite of multiplication so 10 divided by 5 gives us 2. So this is how we can get the number in the 2 position. Now let's look at the second example. 
The concept used is addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. All right. Now, in this oval shape, we have 14 on top and some other numbers below the line. What you notice is that these numbers are all smaller than the number on top. If we attempt to add up these numbers below the line, we are going to get the number on top of the line. So that is to say 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3. If we add correctly, we will get a 14. And that happens to be the number on top. You see? So that is how we get the number on top. We add up everything below the line. Now to get the, any number below the line, for example, the 4, what we need to do is to first of all add up all the numbers below the line except the number we are looking for. All right? So we have a 5 plus 2 plus 3. Okay? That's going to give us a 10. Now, this number or this result is then subtracted from the number on top of the line. That is to say 14 minus 10. That gives us 4. That is 4. All right? So that is how you get any number at the bottom. So the way you get this 4 is the way you are going to get every other number below the line. The 3, the 2, and then the 5. So let's therefore go to the next example. All right. Now this is exercise 15. And the first example, let's look at the concept. We have multiplication. And we also have Roman numerals. Making use of the Roman numeral. All right. Now, we want to first of all look at the concept of Roman numeral. Now, there are seven symbols in the Roman numeral. All right. Seven symbols. These seven symbols are used to get other values in the Roman numeral system. They are the I, the V, the X, the L, C, D, and M. All right? So these are the seven symbols that are used in the Roman numeral system. On the other side, you can see the corresponding representation of each symbol. The 1, the 5, the 10, the 50, the 100, the 500, and the 1,000. But there's something we need to look at here when dealing with the Roman numeral. For example, we know that the special symbol I is 1. And the special symbol V is 5. Alright? Now, we can combine these two figures or values in two ways. The smaller one can come before the big one. And that will come IV. In this case, it's going to be a minus. That is V minus I. Well, since V is 5, we will write 5 minus 1. That gives us what? A 4. So that simply means IV is 4. So we need to get used to the concept, all right? Now, again, if we have X as 10, we already know that now. And we remember that i is 1. Therefore, ix will be 10 minus 1. Alright? 10 minus 1. Because the smaller figure is coming before the bigger one, which is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. So, ix is 9. The same way, xl will be 50 minus 10. Alright? 50 minus 10. And when we do this subtraction, we are going to get 40. So it means XL is 40. Okay? Let's also take more examples on this. XC. We already know that C is 100 and 10 is um, X. So when we subtract 10 from 100, we'll get 90. And so XC is 90. What about CX? This time around, 
the x is in front of the c the bigger one comes first so in this time we don't subtract we add so when the bigger one comes we add so we have 100 plus 10 and that gives us 110 all right now the same way we have c coming before d c is smaller than d so that means we are going to subtract that's 500 minus 100 what do you get 400 of course 400 so that is why cd is 400 let's take one more example cm m is 1000 and c is 100 so because c is smaller we subtract and that is 1000 minus 100 that is 900 all right now let's get started with the example when we look at the middle we have a figure and another two figures beside the line so how do we make use of those numbers on the edge of the lines to get the number in the circle for example we have IV on the left hand side and IV represents 4 and we have 2i on the right hand side that is 2 so but when we multiply these numbers in the arabic numeral that is 4 times 2 we have 8 and so when we convert this 8 what do we get we get v i i i so this is how we get the number at the middle so how do we do it to get the number at the edge making use of the other two numbers for example we want to get the iv of course we do the opposite first of all we convert the 8 that is v i i i gives us 8 all right then on the other side we have i i which is 2 so we are going to do the opposite of multiplication which was done initially so we are going to have 8 divided by 2 all right so when you divide 8 by 2 you get a 4 so that is to say what we need to do next is to convert the arabic numeral 4 to roman numeral and that gives us iv so this is how we get this number at the center and at the end so how we got the iv is the same way we are going to get the ii all right so let's look at the last example which is example two the concepts are multiplication and division now we have a symbol like s and a q now q there stands for quotient all right so if you divide it 24 by 4 you get a 6 all right so it's quite simple well now let's look at how we can get 24 from the other two numbers so to get the number on the 24 position we multiply the other two numbers which is 4 times 6 and that is 24 all right so what about getting the number in that 4 position well we make use of the other two numbers and do the opposite of multiplication so what is the opposite of multiplication it is division so we have 24 divided by 6 that will give us 4 if it is done correctly it will give you 4 all right so this is how we get the number in that 4 position finally how do we get the number in the 6 position we repeat exactly what we did before to get the 4 so that is to say we divide the 24 by 4 this time all right so 24 divided by 4 well that is going to give us a 6 so that is how we get the number in that 6 position hope you had a great time learning in today's class do your assignments and your quiz i'll see you in the next class thanks for watching bye